Hey guys, I'm Jake, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create a landing page for affiliate marketing if you're using YouTube ads. Now, YouTube traffic is a little bit different than other traffic sources, but why we love it so much is because when somebody's on YouTube, right, think about it yourself, you're going onto YouTube, you're searching up a specific type of video, and then you're settling in to watch some sort of long form content. And the reason why this is so great for affiliate marketers is because with our landing pages, it's a really great opportunity for us to push people to a long form VSL, which is obviously how we sell affiliate products. So YouTube traffic is great because um, when we're promoting our offers, we can capitalize on people being ready to watch a, a longer format uh, video or content online. So for this landing page, we're gonna be building inside of Accelerator. Accelerator is ClickBank's landing page and funnel building platform. If you're looking for a funnel builder for yourself or to build your own affiliate funnels, I highly recommend checking it out. There's a link for that down in the description. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. So the cool thing about Accelerator is that uh, when you go to create a new funnel or a new landing page, you have all these different templates to choose from. And so um, for this one, I'm gonna start with a video pre-sale page. So if I click on that, you'll see I have my funnel here. And it consists of two things. Um, number one is our pre-sale page. This is our actual page where people will land on once they see our ad, and then the actual button that's on that page. But we'll come back to this in just a second. So if we jump straight into the video pre-sale page, you can see that this template consists of a few different elements. You have your headline over here, you have a couple of bullets, you have your button, and then you have a big uh, image here that looks like a little play button, but it's actually just a, an image placeholder. So I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna shake things up a little bit. Now, obviously, um, the good part about these templates is that it shows you kind of all the elements you need, but if you wanna go ahead and rearrange them how you think is best, um, you're totally free to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. So the first thing I'll do is I'll just come over here to the edit section button, and then I'm gonna come down to columns, and I actually wanna put my headline on top of my video or on top of my image here, and then um, the copy underneath that. So I'm gonna change this to one column and then hit save. And now you can see this image is super, super big, but what we'll do is we'll take this headline and we'll put it above the image. And now you can see I kind of have the format, the general format that I'm trying to go for, right? A headline, an image, some copy, and then a button. So before this video, I actually went ahead and I prepared some copy and an image for this landing page. So I'm gonna insert that into this format that you see on this page, and then we're gonna walk through you know, why I said what I said here or why I use this style of image. Um, so let's go ahead and just add in the copy and the imagery now. All right, so you can see now I have a uh, an image here. You can see I have a headline and I have some additional body copy with a CTA just below that. And so I'm actually gonna add one more thing here. If I come over to edit and go to modules and then add in a blank module below the CTA, I will just go ahead and paste in this additional line of copy. And so there's a couple of things that I wanna point out here, just as formatting wise, what we're trying to do. So what we're trying to do is essentially with this headline is we're trying to, um, we're trying to capture uh, someone's attention who has the problem in which the product is solving. So for this uh, product in particular, we chose Cortexi. Now Cortexi is an offer that's on ClickBank that I found inside our ClickBank marketplace. Um, and Cortexi solves the problem of hearing loss and tinnitus. It's a remedy for those two things. And so um, what we wanna do is as we're writing our copy and as we're creating our pages, we wanna create elements and create copy that is going to catch the attention of someone who is suffering or dealing with those problems, right? So you can see in our first headline here, you could say, you could see breakthrough discovery, Nobel prize winning way to stop hearing loss and tinnitus for good. Now, obviously if you were someone who was dealing with hearing loss or tinnitus, that might be interesting to you, right? Because you wanna try and get rid of that problem. And so um, then you'll see, we kind of go through the page here and the image that I put on here is actually, this is not a video despite the play button. Um, the goal of this page is just to get people to click through and go to your hop link, which then has the sales page with the uh, vendors VSL, right? So we wanna do everything we can to encourage someone number one, to watch a video or to prepare them to watch a video, but then number two, to actually get them to click through. So you'll notice in our copy, we say in the headline, 
watch now. And then in the image, it says uh, it has a big play button. And then if you scroll down, I'm kind of jumping ahead, but you'll see the CTA here is watch video. And so it's important to remember that the main goal of this page is to warm someone up who has hearing loss and tinnitus and show them that there is a video that they could watch that could solve uh, the problems that they're facing. And so in our CTAs, in our copy, in our images, we are trying to get them to go and watch this video. Now, there's a couple of formatting things. Obviously, if you're looking at this, it doesn't look the best, right? So there's a couple of things I'm gonna go through and I'm just gonna clean this page up really quick. So the first thing is, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna change this format. So if we change this, and then maybe we'll just make this breakthrough discovery bold. So then uh, we can kind of emphasize it a little bit. And then overall, we'll just drop down the font size. So maybe eh, it's a little small. Let's try 48. And then we really want to emphasize that this is a breakthrough discovery. This is new. This is something they've never seen before. So I'm just going to grab a color that makes sense for our page. And then we want them to watch now, right? So maybe this is another opportunity for us to call attention to this. So we bold that. And then I'm actually gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller now that I'm seeing it all together. And we can try underlining it. Okay, cool. All right, and now we can see our image is just a little bit too big. So let's go ahead and just size this down just a little bit. Um, we'll do that by grabbing this corner down here and we can just shrink it. Let's see, that looks a little bit better. Perfect. Okay, great. Um, and now we have our body copy underneath. This is kind of wide or widespread, I should say. So let's go ahead and change this line height to just clean this page up a little bit. I think that looks a little bit better. Now that looks pretty good. Um, the next thing here is going down to our CTA. And you can see here, it's a, it's actually offset to the left. Now you can choose to center this up or if you wanna make it um, on the left, that's fine too. But if you come over here to settings and then open up button settings, this is where you're gonna be able to control everything. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this to say watch video now. And then this is where you would actually put your hop link, right? This is where you would put your link that would then take people to the vendor's sales page. And then if I wanted to center it up, I would just go ahead and click center. Let's see how that looks. And there's actually a lot of padding right here. So I'm gonna cut this in half and say, margin top should be 20. And then let's just give this the bottom just a little bit more. And then let's see how this looks. X here. There we go. It's looking pretty good. So the last thing that I put on here is this uh, line underneath. Now, um, the first thing I'm gonna do is this important area or where I say important here, I'm gonna just go ahead and bold this and then underline it because it's important. So we wanna emphasize it. And then you'll see, um, I actually said in this copy, I said, if you ever wanna get rid of pain point one or pain point two or pain point three, this special video is for you. I did that on purpose so that you guys could see in the copy what we're trying to do. So um, what you're trying to do again is trying to appeal to someone who is on this page and has the problem that the VSL and the product that you're going to sell solves. So in this, uh, in this case, the pain point could be if you've ever wanted to solve or if you've ever wanted to get rid of tinnitus, uh, hearing loss or brain fatigue, those could be the three that you put into this section. Now, if you're promoting a different product, um, obviously it would be different for you, but that's kind of the structure of how I would do this. And then it says, this special video is for you. Um, what I would also do here is if you highlight this, you have the ability to actually insert a link and put your hop link right in here. So when you do this, you can see it kind of changes the color. So it's just one more opportunity to get someone, you know, as people go to these pages, they're paying attention to like, very few things. The first thing in your headline, the, um, the image that you put on here, and then your CTAs or anything else that grabs out and points at them. Um, this body paragraph right here, some people will read this. Some people, most people probably won't um, because it just doesn't pop out at them as everything else does, right? And so we wanna try and emphasize again, right at the top, 
This is for this is for stopping hearing loss and tinnitus for good and watch now. And then everything that we do on this page is all just trying to push them to go watch that video. Now, I wanna backtrack a little bit and talk about this copy right here. Now, again, like I said, most people probably won't stop and read a lot of the copy, especially if they're coming from social media. Now, a lot of them might, so you obviously wanna make sure that you have copy here that makes sense um, because it's still a really good opportunity for those who do read it to pre-frame them even more and get them more excited about what's to come once they click through on that video. So our copy here is very basic. We're just talking about um, the experience of people having tinnitus. Um, we're talking about the fact that uh, there's been recent research and breakthroughs that has unraveled the root cause of tinnitus and its underlying causes, and that there's now a breakthrough medical discovery um, that can help a remedy uh, tinnitus and hearing loss for good. So click below to get started. And all of this copy, guys, I just went to the vendor's VSL, which this is their sales page, and I just watched some of it. I just watched, you know, five, 10 minutes of it, got a gist for what this video was doing, what problem it's solving, and then just rewrote that and put it in my landing page. Um, so then that way, you know, if you're writing something that came from that VSL, when somebody clicks on your page and they're interested in that and they're, they're interested enough to click through, they'll be sure to be interested in the VSL because what you're writing is about the VSL. All right, guys, so just to recap here, this is everything that you're going to need for a pre-sale page for YouTube traffic, um, or at least my version of it. So the first thing you'll need is a strong headline to capture people's attention. The next thing that you'll need is an image, some sort of image that drives curiosity, that, sh that uh, shows some sort of relatable image to the prospect who is watching this, and then with a video play button. This is a really great place. You can actually click on this, and you can actually um, add a link to this image. And so uh, if people were to click on this, it could take them to your hop link. And then after that, a little bit of body copy, just to kind of build the page out a little bit more and to continue to pre-frame what someone is about to go see when they go and click on the uh, hop link. And then a strong CTA, watch video now, pretty self-explanatory, but that's what we're setting them up for. And then I added this last line here where um, we are talking about, hey, if you are this person or if you're experiencing this pain point, this pain point or this pain point, this video is for you. Make them feel that this video is the answer to um, the problems they are facing and you will get more people to click through. So guys, like I said, uh, in this video, we used Accelerator to build our landing page. Um, if you're interested in a landing page builder or a funnel builder specifically for affiliate marketing, I highly recommend you check out Accelerator. Accelerator also comes packed with a bunch of um, affiliate focused uh, templates, regardless of the traffic source that you're using. So if you're doing organic or paid or email or whatever, we most likely have a, a, a template ready to go for you to use. I hope this video was helpful. If you guys wanna see any particular landing page videos in the future, or if you have any questions about what you just saw or landing pages in general, go ahead and just drop a comment down below this video. And if not, we'll see you in the next one.